Welcome back, everybody. More of Resonance. Oh, no, we don't want to go that way. I'm going to go this way. Oh, great. Do we really have a maze already? I hate mazes. Well, let's do the old Dungeons and Dragons tactic. Hug the left wall. Oh, my God. No. No. Okay. We don't need to do that. Hug the left wall. Little Metal Gear Solid action right here. Da da da. I remember something. Oh. Spiders. Is that what that is? Spiders. Oh, seriously? Hey, Togoff, we thought this maze wasn't tough enough for you, so here, we're gonna rotate it now. Some guns. Hate mazes. Hate mazes. Hate mazes. Okay. Crawly, 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 crawly. Not exactly that complex of a maze, though, fortunately. Hi. I think we wanted that, though, right? Oh, great. N n no! Are those just leaves? I mean, leaves aren't really all that terrifying, sweetheart. You you can crawl through leaves. I I've, I've done it before myself. And I guess there could be, like, a spider or something in it. <laughs> oh, god damn. Uh, I think I'm missing the memory, though. Oops. Can I get back up? Can I, can I go back up? Oh my god, this is miserable. <laughs> No. Oh my god. Remember how my sister and I used to do um, mazes in uh, a lot of these games? We'd just go with graph paper. Always had some graph paper right by the computer. Our notepad. Here we are. Oh my god. Oh my god. N no Am I on some type of timetable? If I was, I I'm going to be quite cross with you, game. Quite cross indeed. I almost feel like I should go... Reload, so I can go up a level. In fact, I am going to do that. A number of people said they wanted to see my thought processes as I went through. Um, yeah, it. I was still kind of split as to whether people wanted to actually see all of my thought process when I get stuck on a puzzle or just skip it. Uh, I was fairly mixed. So I may put out, like, uh, sub-videos, so to speak, or... I, no, get, get the memory. I remember something. What do you remember, by the way, sweetie? Can I... Can I inquire? Hansel and Gretel? But Hansel and Gretel were too clever for their mean old stepmother. They had sprinkled breadcrumbs in the forest behind them as they walked. And the clever children followed the breadcrumbs straight back home. What stepmother mean? It means that she wasn't the real mama. Why? Because if she was the real mama, she'd never want to lose them out in the woods. She just wants to give them big tickles. Come here, you! 
Okay. Oh man. Oh, clicked outside of the. <laughs> clicked outside of the world. As I drink my mint green tea. Green tea. I mean, do we really have to rotate this camera, though? I mean, that, that, that is pretty obnoxious. I'm not gonna lie. Not pretty. That's very obnoxious. Very, very obnoxious. <laughs> we want to get these memories, though. Okay. No. I don't blame you. That one does kind of freak me out a little. No, no, no! Don't turn the screen. I'm, I'm actually oriented. This should lead to a dead end. Just want to confirm. Okay, it doesn't exactly lead to what I thought it would. Okay, fantastic. Alright, we're not bad yet. Just switch the way my brain works. Uh, I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. Oh god! I'm following monster handprints. No, no, no! Uh. So to anyone who has seen my Sanatorium LP, I hate mazes. This is worse than just a maze because I can't even orient... I, I have a really, really bad sense of direction. Um, as in the GPS was probably the greatest lifesaver I've I've ever had in my life. Uh, it's probably that one piece of technology I am most thankful for. I I tend to get lost everywhere. In fact, it it's a bit of a d joke. Where the frick am I? I have no idea where I am. So yes, a number of you out there complaining that I have a bad sense of direction. I, I am well aware of this. I, I am well aware of this problem. Um, yeah. I've been playing Daisy for... No, no, no! That's different though now. Now it's like... I don't remember it being Creepy Head Kid that gave me the exit before. I think... is this how it originally... Oh god. No, no, no! So, that leads to an exit. That leads to a no, no, no! Just follow this left wall. I know, I, I, I'm positive I'm, I'm reviewing areas that I've already been to. I just want to follow the left wall. Just like, this is the the worst game of, of Dungeons and Dragons ever, where the map, like, your DM keeps rotating the map. Although you can see it from a third person. No, no, no! Maybe there was no memory here. If I just follow this left wall... Oh my god. I am... I have no idea what that thing. Wait, what, what? Wait. Something's not right here. I need to go deeper. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I remember something. What do we got? What do we got? Where's my mom? Mi sobrina. Why can't I see her? She did. She's not 
She's gone, Anna. She's with the other angels. Yeah, I, I don't remember. Just keep following the left wall. <laughs> following the left wall. I, by the way, folks, I have no concept of where I am at all. Although I should save here. Left wall. We'll just comb over all of this and hope that it works out. Unless it leads me in giant circles, then that would be bad. Ah! something. Alright, so we've got all the memories. You have no idea what torture this is for me. <laughs> I do this for you, my viewers. I must have dozed off while looking at Uncle Javi's journal. Or Javi's. <laughs> Wait, I remember something. The cipher. What was that sound? Is someone in my apartment? Damn it, I must have left my cell phone in the kitchen. I can't let them get in here. Can I push the bookshelf in front of that? Can this help me? How? Push the shelf. Which way? Uh, to the right? There, that should slow him down. I don't need to set my alarm clock to get out of here. Do I have the journal? I do. Suppose I could use it as a weapon, but I'd rather just get out of here. Can I pick it up? I guess not. Oh! Getting the hell out of here. Oh boy. This fucking city. I've got to get off this fire escape. Quickly. Uh, go down? The handle came off. Oh. Oh. Uh, th this violates every fire code. Oh god. Pounding stopped. Because let's let's face it, we're all curious. I'm not going in there. mechanism uh put the the handle thing or dinger on it uh you know what can I no stop go back go back take can you take the handle again I don't know if we're gonna need it but 
it would best to be to just have it. It's locked. Shards of loose glass. Oh god. That sounded like Why did, why did you scream out there, honey? I have to cut him off. Yeah, we're gonna use the broken glass on the rope. Eh. 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 Faster. Gonna get you out of here. Come on, let's go. My saviors. Are you okay? I will be, thanks. Who was that man? And why was he chasing me? I don't know, but listen, we need to get rid of him. I don't see anybody. If someone was following us, we must have lost him. Well, that's something at least. We're going to stay here for a little while, figure out what to do. You're safe with me, Anna. Huh. Thanks, Prince Charming. Look, I'll just go and call this into the station. We can dust your apartment, figure out who that scumbag was. No. Ed. Anna, the note we found in your uncle's journal... What? What note? What are you not telling me? Anna. Maybe we should trust him, Ed. What note? It's up to you. I think we should trust him. Thank you. <laughs> now, will someone tell me what's going on? I'm sorry we were keeping you out of the loop, Detective, but we had to. You had to, huh? We found this note from my uncle. Don't trust the police. And you thought this meant me? We couldn't be sure. Look, that explosion in the lab was no accident. Dr. Morales was working on a powerful new technology, and someone used his own technology to kill him. If Dr. Morales has a vault somewhere with more of this technology contained inside, we need to secure it before anyone else can get to it. I really should report this. No, you can't do that. If Morales was right, and someone on the force was after him... Please, Detective, just give us 24 hours. Help us. Surely you've broken a few regulations in your time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got me there. 24 hours. No more secrets. Deal. Good. Because I got a couple questions need answering. Ask away. Oh, now I'm playing as Bennett. You'd better tell us what all the hubbub is about. What did Morales create? I'll show you. Using the lab's super collider, Dr. Morales discovered a new type of twin particle. The particle okay. always comes in pairs, a positive and a negative, yin and yang. Bound together, they form the substructure of the electron. These two particles actually occupy the same space by vibrating through space-time. We call this vibration resonance. Let's uh, pretend that all made sense. What's the big deal? The big deal isn't knowing that these particles exist, it's in what you can do with them. Dr. Morales was designing resonance devices that could neutralize the effect of resonance, allowing you to separate the twin particles. Two particles, two devices. You can place these devices some distance apart and then release the particles trapped inside. The particles instantly snap back together, collide in the exact center, and release a large amount of energy. Anything within a certain area of effect is completely pulverized at an atomic level. The further you pull the particles apart before disabling the devices, the larger the area of effect. 
In fact, uh, Dr. Morales and I developed a precise formula predicting the inverse relationship. All right, all right. So you take two devices, separate them, and when you shut them off, whatever's in the middle goes boom. Well, yeah. <laughs> you could have just said that. So what's in this vault? I didn't even know of its existence until earlier today, so I can't be sure. But I'm guessing it's a repository of all his research into resonance particles, including his designs for the resonance devices used to separate them. Maybe even prototypes. Whatever is in it, it's dangerous in the wrong hands. And now that Dr. Morales is dead, it's just out there waiting to be found. But we're gonna be the ones to find it. So what you're saying now is that the explosion in Morales' lab was not an accident. The way that hole was cut out of the lab, it had to be a resonance weapon. But Dr. Morales couldn't have caused it himself. An event of that size would require two very precisely placed devices miles apart with the lab in the center. This was no accident. So what would a resonance weapon look like? Dr. Morales was designing these resonance devices for peaceful applications. But, weaponizing them would be fairly simple. The devices would be pretty small, softball size maybe. By placing a device on either side of a target, calculating the distance required to achieve the intended area of effect, and synchronizing their release with some kind of uh, radio detonator. Or a cell phone. Sure, or a cell phone. You could take out anything you wanted to. So I could place resonance devices, say, in a doorway, and vaporize someone's heart as they walk through. Well, it's not technically vaporizing. <laughs> pull them farther away and erase the whole building from existence. I suppose. If I mounted these things on planes or satellites, just how big could you make this blast? Well, there's no theoretical limit. My god. So this vault has to be destroyed. What? No! Unlimited destructive power. Are you kidding me? No, that's only if the technology is used incorrectly. Anna, your uncle wanted these resonance particles to bring about a new age of peace and human prosperity. Imagine it. Unlimited clean energy, faster than light travel, instant communication over unlimited distances. This was your uncle's dream. You can't let that die. No, I'm not gonna let you put this woman in danger. Or did you already forget that someone tried to kill her tonight? Enough! All this talk is pointless unless we find the vault before the people who killed my uncle do. My uncle left this task to me with his last words. So whether we destroy the vault or make sure the research gets into the right hands, the choice is mine. Is there a problem with that? Uh. <laughs> Good. Now, Ed, how do we find this vault? Well, um, my best guess is... Shut up. <laughs> Get behind me. Come on out. Hands where I can see him. Okay, okay. Don't shoot. I'm coming out. Oh, hey. You look familiar. I told you someone was following us. Who are you? My name is Ray. Ray Abbott. I was just walking through the park. Is he with them? With who? I swear, I'm alone. Wait a second. You walk by us in the hospital. Were you listening to us there, too? Okay, look, I'm a journalist. The Abbott Post? Online? I was at the hospital working on another story, and I heard the two of you talking about this vault and how the police may be involved. I smelled the story, so I followed you guys. Ray Abbott! I've seen his picture in the news! You're the guy who wrote that story about the vice president. One in the same. Great, a fucking blogger. <laughs> Investigative <laughs> journalist? I want to help you. No, no more people. It was supposed to just be Anna and me. Oh. I guess if I can't stick around, I could just run with what I've got so far. You son of a bitch. Look, you don't know it, but you need me. Yeah, right. You need information, right? Well, that's my bread and butter. I have contacts. People who live under the radar, you need to know something, they can get it. Crooks, you mean. I've exposed more bad guys than you ever will. Now look here. No, he's right. We need his help. You sure? Yes. And if there is corruption in the police force, we could use his blog to help expose it. It's not a blog. It's a <laughs> reputable news source. I swear to God, if you step out of line... I get it. You can trust me. The day I trust a muckraker like you... 
Guys, we're not gonna get anything done tonight. There's a motel on the corner. Let's cool off, get some rest, and think about our next move. We'll regroup right here in the morning. Agreed. Cool. What is this? Seriously? For is following you. Get rid of him. Hey. Give that back. That's none of your business. Uh oh. All right, let's go over this plan, Ed. To find and open Dr. Morales' vault, we need three things. One, the vault is most likely hidden somewhere inside Juno Laboratories. My guess is it's in one of the many underground tunnels. So, we'll need a blueprint of the lab. Blueprints of all major buildings are on file in the city archives, which is in the police administration building. Okay. Two, even with the blueprints, we're going to need some kind of information on the vault to help us figure out exactly where in the lab it might be. Jimmy Olsen? It's simple, detective. We follow the money. Somebody had to build this vault, and it probably didn't come cheap. I have a contact at the National Credit Service. He can get anyone's financial transaction history. If we can find the guy who sold Morales the vault, maybe they can help us find it. Beautiful. And three, we need to figure out how to open the vault. Anna, that part's up to you. My uncle's last words were, your uncle holds the key. Besides Javi, I only had one other uncle. He's buried near my parents in All Saints Cemetery. There may be a clue about this key there, but... Ed, I'd like you to come with me. Oh, uh, sure thing. Just let me know when you're ready to go. All right, we'll split up. Remember, no talking to police and no posting stories on your blog. Reputable news source. It's not a blog. Good luck, everyone, and thank you. Cool. Well, folks, as always... Oh, watch my score go up. Thank you very much for watching. Tune in the next episode of Resonance. Thanks for watching, everybody. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, see ya.